With the release of LEGO Avengers Mission Demolition, this is the complete rundown of the LEGO Marvel Universe. Here we go! The Silver Surfer, who has a very Marvel name, like Sue Storm, Stephen Strange, and of course, J. Jonah, Jimmy, Jason, Jackson, John and Jasmine, Joel and Josephine, Jessica Jameson, a junior is surfing in the sky, only to be shot down by Dr. Doom to the level where you're supposed to be surfing at. This shatters his board into multiple cosmic bricks, which Dr. Doom and Loki plan to use to low-key create Doom on Earth and take control of the world. The evil hire other evils to retrieve the bricks, while a hero hires other heroes to get them first. Okay, people, let's go to work. Let go of me, Bob. He's one of the good guys, even if he doesn't smell like one. Team villains win and build a Doom Ray or so Doom thinks. The trickster Loki has tricked Doom into building a device to mind control Galactus to eat Earth for breakfast and Asgard for lunch. He'll probably skip dinner after that. There's a lot of calories on Earth alone. I mean, imagine how many donut shops he consumed. Every hero fighting against the threat won't be enough, but every hero and every villain might just be, or should I say, definitely, defeating Loki and Galactus and rebuilding the Silver Surfer surfboard, which maybe he'll use to actually catch a wave. Loki punks a bunch of villains with a one-way snowball fight, but these are special snowballs, enhancing their power so Loki can create an army of supervillains and take the throne of Asgard. Now behold my latest bit of trickery. But the Avengers stand in their way. Spider-Man fries an octopus and turns Venom into tomorrow's headline. And they say print is dead. Iron Man single-handedly takes out the Mandarin. Literally. Iron Fist and the Hulk play baseball with Abomination before the Avengers assemble to defeat Loki. Phew. God! Yeah. I hate that guy. The Avengers must reassemble because there's a surprise party, and the surprise is that Ultron has taken control of Iron Man thanks to the help of Yellow Suit Ant Man. So the Avengers call in Red Suit Ant Man for a small favor. I am very funny. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. It's <laughs> a good one. While the two tiny superpowers fight inside Iron Man's armor, the Avengers battle Baron Strucker, who's assisting Ultron's master plan of taking over the world and in return getting to rule Australia. Crikey. <laughs> Tony is freed from Ultron's control thanks to lightning. From Thor's hammer, the Pixar character had nothing to do with it, nor was it a stormy day. Then Stark upgrades to a bigger Iron Man suit and with the Avengers defeat the artificial intelligence, turning it into an ice machine. An ice machine? Really? And the Falcon will get to join the team next time, because he's just joined the team. <laughs> Kang the Conqueror is trying to conquer the universe by stealing parts of it from different eras in time and creating a world called Chronopolis. But the Avengers, Guardians of the Galaxy, and other heroes liked where their cities were. So they fight their way through the different sections to get to the baddie with a ship in the shape of a sword. These sections include, but not limited to, Anakin's Nightmare, Narnia, Under the Sea, Back to the Future Part 3, Black and White, and Shrek's House. This place gets weirder by the day. After taking in all the sides, the heroes battle Kang, who sized up and used his ship as a weapon. But he's no match for the heroes who use the proven method of teamwork to win the battle and restore everything back to the way it was. Or so they think. It's the Guardians of the Galaxy's turn to save the day, but before they can, they have to save themselves from Yondu and Taser Face! And now Ronan and Nebula. They're all after the Build Stone, a stone that can build anything you imagine. I didn't hear you complaining when I made you that can opener slash laser cannon slash toenail clipper. Yondu and Taserface want to sell it for lots of dollary doos, Ronan and Nebula want it for Thanos to be evil with it, and the Guardians of the Galaxy want to keep it out of the hands of anyone who wants to sell it or use it for evil purposes. Purposes. Unfortunately, they're unable to keep it out of the hands of anyone who wants to sell it or use it for evil purposes when the Guardians try to escape through a portal only to be split up and have the Buildstone be taken by Yondu who is about to sell it to Ronan. But before the payment can be made, Star-Lord takes it back and runs away. But before he can evade, Yondu takes it back, sells it to Ronan who gives it to Thanos. But before he can use it to destroy Earth, the Guardians of the Galaxy live up to their name, stopping the threat, handing it over to Thor to store in a secure Asgardian vault. What if the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but Lego? Thanos just lost to Space's Mightiest Heroes, so how will he fare against Earth Mightiest Heroes? 
just as poorly. Phew, space titan. <laughs> However, Killmonger and Claw are interested in enhancing the Mad Titan with Vibranium and working together to become Earth's mightiest villains. We will be unstoppable. But not if Black Panther has anything to say about it, battling each of them individually, then two of them at once, then all three of them together. Although regardless of the combination, Black Panther, the Wakandans and Avengers are able to defeat Earth's slightly above average villains. Does this mean you won't be King of Wakanda? What's Spider-Man been up to? Failing to stop the Green Goblin and Venom from stealing an orange key token, which Goblin wants to combine with his tech to overload and melt down the city. Well, he stops Green Goblin, but Venom gets away, stealing a purple key token. Now Venom has all the power he needs to overload the city. Spider-Man makes it up, but Venom copies his move. Luckily, Ghost Spider brings the advantage back to the heroes, saving the day. I feel pretty good about how things turned out. Unfortunately, Peter wasn't able to save his science grade from an incomplete school assignment. And that looks unlikely to change, as yet another distraction emerges for Spider-Man to take care of. Earth's Mightiest Heroes are back saving the planet, but this time from environmental threats. Tony Stark has developed a weather manipulating machine to solve this problem. However, Justin Hammer steals it for aim to rule the world, putting the environment back at risk. After a boom boom explosion bang car chase, Hammer delivers the device to the aim leader, but it turns out to be Red Skull, planning on using it to destroy the world and build a better one. <laughs> Justin may be evil enough to sell stolen goods to an evil organization, but he's not evil enough to sell it to someone even more evil than him, so he refuses to hand it over. However, the evilist takes it off the evil anyway, so the evil teams up with the heroes to stop the evilist. I'm certain I could save the world myself, but it might just be easier if we do it together. The Avengers team divide up into smaller teams and set out to destroy the three weather towers before the villain with a red skull activates them and causes worldwide destruction. We'll blow up the weather tower and be back at Avengers Tower for some lemonade by the pool in no time. One down, two to go. Two down, one to go. Three down, how many were there again? Oh yeah, three. So three minus three equals, carry the four, multiply the carrot. Oh, they got them all. Oh wait, no, Red Skull created another one. Luckily, Captain Marvel is passing through the galaxy, passing through the new device to save the day, week, month, well, probably just the day, to be honest. There's plenty of villains out there ready to enact their evil plans. For all we know, Loki has something sinister up his sleeve. Loki does not have something sinister up his sleeve. On the contrary, he wants to turn to the light side of the force. I, Loki, shall be your newest Avenger. Someone who doesn't want to turn to the light side of the force is Nebula. While the Avengers are training Loki to be good, Nebula is being bad, capturing Nick Fury and S.H.I.E.L.D., luring Earth's mightiest heroes to her and Thanos, who wants the Infinity Gauntlet. The Avengers are captured, but their newest recruit uncaptures them. Unfortunately, they're unable to stop Thanos from stealing the Infinity Gauntlet out of their vault. Fortunately, Loki has hidden the real Infinity Gems across the universe, so Thanos is easily defeated. Unfortunately, Loki decides not to remain a hero. Loki! Thanos and Red Skull have Scott's time travel van. Why does it continue to make that infernal noise? So they use it to pick up other villains out of their time to do evil things. With some of the Avengers' biggest threats teaming up, Earth's Mightiest Heroes realize they have to power up. They do this with bigger Iron Man suits, bigger Ant-Man, and bigger Donuts. Mm -hmm. He was saving this for a snack. The heroes have defeated all these villains before, but they haven't defeated them all at the same time. Until now. Shrinking them down to the size of their cold hearts. The Daily Bugle becomes the Ailey Bugle when the Spot sticks his head into Earth 13122. So Peter Parker's Spider-Man warns Miguel O'Hara of the Spider Society. Then he goes out to take a decent picture of Spider-Man for page one of tomorrow morning's paper. Red Skull is back having another go trying to take over the world, but it's once again not successful. However, it wasn't the Avengers who stopped him, it was the Collector collecting red name supers including Red Ghost, Red Guardian, Omega Red, Red Raven, Red Nine, Red Stone, Red Shift, Red King, Red Riding Hood, Red Ranger, Red Leader, Red Sparrow, Tony Red, The Hunt for Red October, Clifford the Big Red Dog, The Big Red Car, Taylor Swift's album Red, but not Red She-Hulk, oop I spoke too soon. Typical. Now the Avengers need a tracker, so Wolverine's nose is recruited. 
plus the rest of his body. They sniff out the collector's base, enter, get matching haircuts, get split up, get reunited, unpackage the collector's collection, astronomically devaluing them, tell Santa what they want for Christmas, defeat the collector, then celebrate over some freshly made pancakes. It's weird how they call cakes cooked in a pan pancakes, but they don't call cakes cooked in a tin tin cakes. Spider-Man's behind this, I know it! Let me know in the comments what your favourite type of cake is. Hello, it's a simple question. The Avengers battle the Frightful Four, except there's only three of them, so the... Triangle 3? Dennis Dunphy, who has a very Marvel name, like Mars Morales, Kamala Khan, and of course, J. Jonah, Jimmy, Jason, Jackson, Jordan, Jasmine, Jordan, Jasmine, Jessica, Jameson, a junior, is in awe of the Avengers and wants to join the team. Although his name should really be Clumsy Callum, because he's not very good at his damage control cleanup job. And because of this, now he's going to be late for Avengers Con. So his mate Terry suggests using a big vacuum created by Reed Richards. Only Terry is the one who controls it, deliberately sucking up the Avengers, plus Tom Brady. Then he uses a big axe he stole from the Avengers display to become Terry with an axe, or Terax for short. Five minutes later, Dennis suits up in his Warthor Devil costume and warns the rest of the Avengers of the danger- Oh, they got sucked up too. The survival of the world rests in the hands of Demolition Man. D-Man uses his powers of Wreck-It Ralph to break the vacuum while the greatest song of 1982 plays. With the Avengers freed, they assemble and fight to defeat Terax while the greatest song of 1984 plays. So not only does Dennis make it to Avengers Con, but he gets to go as a guest speaker as the newest member of the Avengers. Meanwhile, Deadpool and She-Hulk fight over the credits. Is this the quantum realm? Ant-Man, save me! <laughs> and now you're all caught up on the Lego Marvel Universe. You're welcome! That'll be six bucks. Let me know in the comments what your favourite Lego Marvel movie or show is, and don't forget to absolutely obliterate that like, subscribe and share button. I'm just kidding. I only do it with enough force that it registers. I don't want any of you breaking whatever device you're watching this on.